Hello lovely soul. Today we're going to work on bladder two points. This is a self acupressure, shine, self health care integrating new energies practice that can really help with any eye issues. So if like myself you spend a lot of time looking at a computer screen and aren't used to doing that or your eyes just feel very tired and strained, this is a really great treatment to help to relieve any redness in the eyes, any blurred vision. It's really helpful if you get frontal headaches or sinus headaches that happen at the front of your head. There's different points for different headaches or types of headaches. It's also really great for a hangover. So if you've been unfortunate enough to imbibe too much alcohol or another substance, it can really help to clear the mind. I also find it's very good for um, any kind of colds, congestion um, in the upper part of the body. So you'll want to remove your glasses and you can do this sitting with your elbows either on a table in front of you or you can take a pillow where you can comfortably rest your elbows onto and remove your glasses. And we want to use the middle fingers to work on this point. A lot of people show it being used with the thumbs, but our thumbs connect us to the fire element. And when you've got a lot of inflammation in the body, or heat in the body, you don't want to add more fire to it, right? So using the middle fingers connects us to the ether element. This middle finger connects us to spirit, to God, to universal consciousness. It connects us to outside of our elements within our body, and therefore it helps to lift that energy up and out of the bladder two points. They're called drilling bamboo and they're located, if you come up the bridge of your nose and trace a line with your middle fingers to right about where your eyebrows start, these are the bladder two points right here. And by resting your elbows onto a pillow as low as they need to go, you can actually just rest your head and not have to apply any pressure onto those points. And if I press here for just a second, you might be able to see that a little bit of redness comes up. And that's very normal. Uh, oftentimes the acupressure points are located in little hollows or indentations in the bones or between the spaces of bones. So you'll know when you're on bladder two because it will feel a little bit tender, especially if like myself, you've been on a computer a lot of the day or you've just got a lot of heat up in your head. So you can go ahead and relax into that point, letting your neck and shoulders and your jaw completely relax. Your feet are flat on the floor. Your butt is unclenched. Your pelvic floor is relaxed. One thing I find very helpful, especially because this is a tender point, is to take the breath into those two points. That will bring more oxygen and blood flow up into your head. And wherever there's more blood flow and oxygen, there's more chi in your body, your vital life force energy. So a helpful amount of time to work on this point, or these points, bladder two points, is about three minutes. And if 
the headache is still there, or the congestion is still there at the end of the three minutes, you can wait an hour, make sure you hydrate because these are bladder points, they're connected to the fluids in your body, the water element, and drink some warm water or room temperature water, never cold water or iced water. The water element doesn't like the cold. Our stomach's digestive juices don't like the cold. And if you'd like, you can visualize a color whilst you're doing this in that area because this is very close to the third eye point, your sixth chakra, which is the center of your intuition. So you can breathe in the color indigo blue, which happens to be the same color in Chinese medicine as the water element. And if you started out with some sinus congestion, you might notice that it's easy, easier to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose than it was at the beginning. I'm applying pressure towards the center of my body, towards that third eye point, directing energy into it, not applying hard pressure, just letting the weight of my head do all the work. If you were unfortunate enough to have had too much alcohol, and that's why you have a headache here, I highly recommend some warm water with about a half a teaspoon of organic lemon juice squeezed into it, which will help to clear the toxins from your liver because it's actually your liver heat, the liver toxicity that rises up into the eyes, makes them red and gives you that hangover headache. So after about three minutes, you can take your fingers away and you may see, if I come up a little bit closer here, that you can see where I pressed on these points. They're quite pink and again, that's normal. That's the heat being released out from the eyes there. And a nice thing to do after you've worked on that point is to rub your hands together and you can do this throughout the day if you work on a computer, just generate some chi or energy in your hands and then close your eyes and allow your head again to relax into the palms of your hands that are minor chakra points that help to transmit soothing, calming energy into any areas that you want to put them. Another thing that I like to add into this practice sometimes is humming. And in my sound healing course, you'll see why humming is so incredibly awesome for your body. Humming actually creates nitrous oxide in your sinus cavities and in your head. And it also helps with producing oxytocin. It helps with producing endorphins. 
it helps to bring resonance or frequency into certain areas of your body. And depending on what tone you hum in will depend on which area of the body it will affect. So an easy way of gauging, well, what tone should I hum into my third eye is to start at your highest tone. would be my top of my head or my crown chakra. That's the highest that I can hum. So down one from that. And you can hear how it's a little bit broken there because I do have some eye issues going on today from making so many videos and looking at the computer screen. And that's normal, that's okay. With the humming, you want to inhale, hum, and then inhale again through the nose and hold it for as long as the sound lasts, as long as your breath lasts. And to maybe do that for about three seconds. My cats love it when I hum. They always want to come and be near me because they feel the vibration of it. So I'm going to rest my palms over my eyes again. And I'm going to hit that high note again. Come down one. that there was some almost like a groaning sound that came out with that and that's a really good indication that your water element energies are deficient and that they need to be toned up so the humming can really help to bring more energy into your body it also boosts your immune system so if you have a cold or a congestion in your head currently Humming can actually help to clear that out. So I hope you've enjoyed the practice today for Bladder 2, Drilling Bamboo.